Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 49 Playoffs Second Round Purple Chest. Amazingly not using L's for once, he's decided to venture in the unknown with Dwarves, um, taking on Mongloom with Protonians. And uh, there's some nice Protonians in this team, really nice. Strength 4, Raj 4, move 8, Raj 4, another move 8, uh, Blodge Stepper, Tackle, a Pommer. Some guard, really nice team, um, but PC's down a bunch of TV, he got an extra apple, he got a wizard, he's still got a bench, and he's got loads of mighty blow and guard, so, you know, even though he's down a lot of TV, I think, you know, he might be he might be favourite here, but, it, you know, it's not a normal Brett team, this has got a lot more, a lot more about it than a normal Brett team would have, so, you know, it'll be interesting, I think it's, it's kind of delicately balanced, it should be very interesting. Glorious. No, it is five rerolls versus two, so yeah, we, we would have seen a greed there, but as it was, it was a double I will defend. I will defend. Thought you were uh, snotty stream up, Jim. Glory doesn't oh, like baby. Kebabs. Oh, baby, Dimmy's here. Look at that. Thank you very much. Dimmy's got his got his uh, got his Twitch working again. His phone working. Thank you very much, Dimmy. Glory does not buy kebabs, and somebody who knows all about kebabs is Fault Force. Hello, Fault Force. Hello. We uh, we ready to watch some Blood Bowl? Yeah. Coming to you live from work, committing lots of time theft as we speak. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Happy birthday, Fall Force. Many thanks. Getting to the ripe old age of 25, one year closer to the sweet release of death. <laughs> <laughs> yep. In, in just four more years till you see same age as me. There you go. <laughs> Hopefully we see lots of Brett death this game, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm on PC side because, you know, screw screw Burts. This is that ridiculously overstatted Brett team, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah, loads of stats. He even rolled a stat on this guy, but hasn't taken it. He went side. What was, what was the team value difference? I mean, what, PC's got a wizard? So it must have been at least 150. 250, he's got with a all, wizard and those, an extra apple. With all those stat ups, you, uh, that's got to add a lot to the team value. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Jeff. I probably should. I should probably give a fault force a suit for. Uh, I should probably give fault force a suit for the commentary, shouldn't I? But there you go. Um, yeah, he's got three re because uh, the first round, the boomer um, PC faced um, halflings. So he went three rerolls plus leader, and then he won a reroll from the kickoff event. So he did have five rerolls for this game. Yeah, this is a very close. This is a very, very interesting match. No removals. PC will already be raging at his computer. The most angry man in the universe. How did it el How did his elves not cast Bert? <laughs> yeah, he won the coin toss and then chose to uh, chose to have his drive first, right? I don't know who won. I don't know who won the toss. You don't. You don't see. You just see. You yeah. just see the kickoff event, and you don't actually see who won the toss. I wouldn't be surprised if he kicked or received. To be honest, it could have gone either way. Somebody's. Uh, somebody snuck into the booth. No, oh, who's Oi, snuck? Oi. How you doing? Oh, it's Calcium Cars. Hello, Cars. Hello. Um, I said I would pop along, and and then I totally forgot that you were streaming it, and I just saw your <laughs> notification on Discord. So advertising does really work really well. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> So yeah, um, yeah, and uh, you saw my hoodie earlier. So representing Team Fantastic on my hoodie for the weekend. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was very impressed. The only thing that would have made it better is I'll I'll I'll, I'll post the uh, you know the picture that you've got with the toxic. Yeah. It's it's a good picture, isn't it? It's but... a little bit blurred actually. It hasn't come out anywhere near as well as I'd expected. Um, the back is great, but. You know, uh, there's always other things you want to put on hoodies as well. You know, I could make, I could have put an essay on there. Do you know what I mean? The blood Bowl exploits, but yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed with the image at the front. Um, but you know, it's well. It's I, I wasn't actually criticising it. I was just saying um, you, you should have used this one. <laughs> I've posted it in the Discord. <laughs> oh, go on, let's have a look. <laughs> Legendary that gif and it is so good. <laughs> it it's is so good. <laughs> but but yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to the weekend. So uh, it's going to be good fun to catch up with a bunch of people and get really really drunk with Dimmy. 
Yeah, that would be epic. Absolutely epic, won't it? Two of the five idiots meeting in real life. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's going to be pretty cool. So, uh, so uh, what's, what's going on? So, um, obviously, Purple Chest is the dwarfs. Um, it's not a bad-looking Brett team, is it? It's very interesting, yeah. Very interesting. So two, th well, two super Berts and one yeah. good Bert. Well, fast it's bird. more stat up than anybody should be allowed to have on any single team. <laughs> you know, it is a ludicrous amount. There were lots of dice that were rolled very highly. Yeah. I'm surprised it managed to get that much. Yeah. And Bretonian knights with stat ups are really good, aren't they? It's, you know, and actually, movement really complements them very well on the basis that they're moving seven anyway. So, yeah, I'm, I, I think uh, a, a very highly mobile Bretonian team is always a bit of a danger so mm -hmm. yeah um pc's gonna have his work cut out hey pc's um role is clear here, isn't it just smash out the bretonians waltz in two one grind thank you very much yep. yeah yeah the thing there's not as much guard as i would like on the uh, on the brett team the dwarf team has got loads of them i mean because it's his drive as well he doesn't particularly mind about the uh about the movement allowance of four realistically he can just slowly creep forward and just repeatedly hit them because he's got a mighty blow on the majority of his linos, doesn't he? So yeah. all, all all it takes is a couple of nasty hits and a couple of uh, a couple of Bretts removed, and then it's it's you know it's not looking a, not looking like a great game for the Bretts there, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's I think it's I think it's a finely balanced game that could go anywhere. It's pretty exciting, and uh, Bretts were always going to be horribly outguarded, weren't they? This game, you know, PC but PC is an absolute master at building really really good dwarf teams. Um, so you don't expect him to take anything except, you know, a very, very well-built dwarf team into the chalice. Yep. And hello, Kfog. Lovely to see PTK around, and you can't wait for the weekend. Yeah, it was, it was really cool. PTK, of course, did attend the original GymCon, uh, which is still the only one so far, but, you know. <laughs> this is, it's a pretty cool thing, isn't it, the tournament? I, I guess I should I should do one. I've talked about it with Wanger because he's got a location, but, uh, you know, we just talked about it a little bit, so we should probably... Um, we should probably, like, you know, talk about it a bit more. <laughs> I would disagree with that, Johnny Five. There are different ways to build a dwarf team. They're just wrong, <laughs> of which I aptly demonstrated in a recent Blitz pit. Uh, so <laughs> there, are, there are other ways to build dwarf teams. They're just shit. <laughs> zons will ne new Zons will never win Chalice, no. No, sadly, they won't. They are. They are. Worse. Yeah, only correct ways to play dwarves with a roller, and you can't change my mind. <laughs> it's the only way to have fun with dwarves, isn't it? You know, dwarves are like the anti fun equation of Blood Bowl, and the only way to have fun with them is to have a death roller because death rollers are hilarious. I'm looking at it from a logical perspective of your your strength three, right? And most of the time you're going up against other strength three teams, so just having a big guy who can smash through things. It's uh, it's always good, you know. Mm. That's the way I look at it. <laughs> Probably not the most cost-effective use, considering your linos are ludicrously priced anyway. But you know, it is what it is. Oh, they're, they're crap, but they're just great fun, aren't they? Is, is there anything yeah. better than rolling over one of your opponents and killing them? It's just <laughs> the best thing in Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> the top set is the uh, the tree man leap animation. <laughs> now that's I'm, pretty good sorry I've got to say this I'm not saying that you have to do this okay Calcium and Dimmy but what you could do at <laughs> this tournament is you could <laughs> replicate that picture that's in Discord <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, let's do that actually the only way right if we don't do this when me and Dimmy we're, we're going to meet up at the hotel because we're staying in the same hotel um <laughs> It's got to be total predator in it. We've got to walk up to each other. I'm going to go, Dimmy, you son of a bitch. Right? And then we're going to do the handshake of doom. Right? Uh, and we, we've we got to replicate that in a photograph. But yeah, I think that one as well. Um, <laughs> yeah. Be, be yeah. And to be fair, I get the best end of that photograph, don't I? Um, you know. <laughs> I got, I got no problem replicating that, Jim. Uh, <laughs> I feel slightly yeah. different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be fair, that is that is definitely more on more on Dimmy that one. <laughs> <laughs> you 
his area of expertise should be fine. Yeah. All right, there you go, new rows. And uh, there you go. <laughs> Sandy can't make it anymore. <laughs> Dimmy, Dimmy, Dimmy's pulled out, unlike my fist. <laughs> Sorry, oh god. <laughs> Dear mouth before brain. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, PC made a bit of basing here, and he's kind of got away with that, hasn't he? Not really giving up uh, much hits back. In fact, he's generating a lot of hits. That must have been either the ma Yeah, the mass guard is a good compensator for basing up, isn't it? It really is. Hmm. It was either lucky by PC or good by PC or bad by Mongloom or unlucky by Mongloom. I, as I wasn't watching the match at all, but instead looking at pictures of Dimmy pretending to be fisted by Calcium, <laughs> I've got no idea what happened. <laughs> yeah, we don't really know who instigated it, but I'm sure if PC did it, um, it was a calculated basing mm. manoeuvre. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's how it's how long the Brett's here can uh, can hold it off for. I mean, what is he just going to put bodies in front of the dwarves until uh, you know, and then try and hold back for as long as possible? I mean, what's the what's the game plan here, realistically? Yeah, that's the one. You just you just want to hold the center so they they can't just you know carve through the center, and as long as yeah. you stay in their way, like you know, you slow them down, and then eventually you know turn six, PC still around here, then he's going to have to do something crazy uh, down on yeah. the sidelines, then you can shut him down. I'm sure Reddit has the answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's my Reddit answer for you. Like you know, do, <laughs> simply done in like one line, one line answer. Right, yeah, obviously. Oh my god! Just make sure PC loads rolls of loads of double skulls and one in nines. That's a pretty good defense. That's uh, yeah. That wasn't great. Mm -hmm. Luckily, he's got enough rerolls for it. Mm. Wow. Wrestle's not brilliant, is it, for for PC here? He doesn't want long bits wrestled to the floor. He can't recover position very well that way. Exactly, yeah. That, that's why I always take wrestle first on L's, because I, like it's really good against dwarves. Really good. It's so good against yeah. dwarves wrestle. How much, uh, how much wrestle has he got on his Brett's team here? Uh, just the blockers, because they start with it. Just the blockers. Yeah, he hasn't, he hasn't taken it on the... Uh... On the pissants. <laughs> PC's chosen a turn to roll absolute trash dice. I can think of worse turns where you could do it, so. Yeah. He won't enough, be overly concerned, will he? He won't, but funny enough, if he'd taken Wrestle there, he would have had to take the push, which would have been beneficial for Mongolian, wouldn't it? So, interesting choice that the. The block is biting him in the ass a little bit there. Yeah, I, I like Wrestle on Peasant Linemen. Wrestle Fend, I, I like it. I think it's a really good combination of skills. Mm. Obviously, me being a Bretonian expert, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, I think Fend is just a bit of a crap skill, but, you know, I wouldn't usually take it. It's yeah. one of those things where if you, if you have it, you you know it's enjoyable to have it, but it's crap in the grand scheme of things, isn't it? You'd rather it was something else. Yes, I, oh, would, yeah. I would never take it, but yeah, but but peasants getting it, it's it's an okay kind of thing, isn't it, Mister Fender? And I guess yeah. I guess uh, dancers can get it really late because you know it helps them not get tackle palms and killed because you know that's one of the ways you lose the game. So gets a removal. I mean, it helps in this matchup, just not being able to immediately base and him having to throw another dwarf forward at the line. You know, it's not the worst in this matchup against the slow creep of death. Yes. That was quite a nice chip as well for PC, wasn't it? Getting rid of the dirty player. <laughs> um, I don't know whether Mongloom would have been able to utilize his dirty player a little bit earlier, but, you know, your peasants are on borrowed time anyway. So if you've got a DP peasant, just use DP as soon as possible, even if it's a one in four, like a twenty odd percent hit. You know, just just I'd ra I'd rather that peasant get sent off than get smashed to oblivion like he just has. Yeah.
How many has each team got left in reserves? Is what is that four players for the Brits that we've uh, that we've got on no, the side? Two, Looks two like the Brits two, know, uh, two, yeah, okay. 13 starting for the Brits. Um, I would imagine PC's pretty trim. Yeah, 12. Yeah, you've got to assume. He's very trim, isn't he, PC? We've already we've all seen his webcam. Yep. I mean, to be fair, didn't particularly need to trim down his team considering he got an Apo and uh, an Apo and a Wizard. <laughs> <laughs> with all the stats that the Brit have got, but you know, it's all those stats in it. That it's just yeah. a ridiculous number of stats. Yep. Now you don't you don't usually see like high up dwarf teams like this getting lots of endorsements, but this isn't the uh, this isn't your average Brit team, to be fair. It isn't. Slowly breaking through the line. That's a real nice chain out. You'd of course love to have powered him. But that was the right play, wasn't it? Punch him and then you can assist and punch there, but just unlock it. Yeah. The power. Could blitz here, but then it takes a little bit to get back. Blitz him, but then he's got stand firm, so he's only got two rerolls. So it's pretty, uh, it's pretty That's tricky. Firm and grab that I see. Yeah, grab was his fourth one. Grab's an interesting choice of skills there. I do think I like that. Mm. <laughs> it's interesting. Once you get the fourth skill, you're all out of good choices, and you're into like dauntless. Is okay, right? Against some of the you know orcs or whatever. Yeah. Bit of dauntless. You've got Kick, because it's just generally good, and he's generally going to be one of the protector players because he's got four skills. Um, there's Pro, which I think is a bit shit. There's Grab, which is a bit shit, but then, you know, if you get it on a few players, it's all right, and obviously piling on uh, can still be useful sometimes, can't it? So... I would have preferred Dauntless. I would have liked, I would have liked PC to have an option against higher strength players um you know don't get me wrong he's got enough guard and he his positioning is so good you know he's going to give himself two d's against most opponents but i would have probably gone dauntless over um grab there mm. yeah, the dauntless is a good choice as well because he's opted not to go for the troll slayer in the uh in this roster he doesn't like him does he he, do he yeah. doesn't like troll slayers does he i don't like this i tell you like it's okay he's, he's, up, he's got bludge on here but the problem is if you want to hit him if you don't follow, you're getting hit, and if you follow, you're getting hit. So, like, either way, it's not it's not that good to hit him. And so maybe, you know, maybe he should have just held the centre stronger more. Because I think, I really like holding the centre against Dwarves, just because, you know, if they've got a jam down the sideline, they can get Yeah, it. also, um, flatlining and not chevroning is a thing as well. If he flatlines against PC, PC's just going to base lock him, and he, yeah. he's just gonna, he's going to ruin his day. Gets the power. Troll slayers don't start with block, do they? Troll yeah. slayers, yeah, they got. Do block, they? Yeah. They don't have tackle. What are they missing? They're missing tackle. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, PC I don't know, just kind of like the troll player. Yeah, PC. Do, he, he usually starts with one and just gives it a uh, guard, like mighty. Uh, maybe it's not even mighty. But I think he just goes guard stand for. Him. Um, yeah. And he just tends to use them as a as a decoy octopus, but um, you know it's, it's he doesn't care about them at all. That's probably why the one he had died and didn't bother replacing him. Your only way of dealing with big guys, to be fair though, it's either that or just guard spamming. And you know dwarves are going to guard spam, aren't they? Yep. Would I take AV? I wouldn't take AV in, in Blood Bowl 2, no, sadder. It's funny the difference between never taking AV in, in Blood Bowl 2 and constantly taking AV in Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> it's going to be amazing, guys. Armour 9 got runners, let's go. <laughs> we're, we're coming into turn 4, we're almost halfway through his, uh, his first drive and I don't see him breaking through at any point. I mean, the Brett team is starting to man up a little bit and starting to take the fight on the left side of the pitch, but at what point does PC try and break through? And okay. how does he do it? He's just got a jam. Five, hasn't six. He? Yeah, yeah. Five, six. PC will be fine here. One square um, north of the LOS. This is fine for him at turn four, but he'll start to make moves next turn. 
Yeah, I, w I would have expected the I would have expected the runner to be at least by the six mark at this point, but you know, we'll see what happens. He can break through the wizard as well. That's an option to break through. He could go for a fireball or just try and bolt his way through if he sees an opportunity. You really don't want to be using the wizard to score. You want to be scoring without the use of the wizard, don't you? And then the wizard I'm saying is... it's a counter. Yeah, he, yeah, might, yeah. he might have to, like, ultimately. Yeah, he may not have a choice, yeah. I, I, honestly, I honestly don't see him breaking through this without using the wizard. Uh, there's still I don't time. Think he, uh, still he time. Get Things can happen. That's the thing, isn't it? You know, he's still got another couple of turns of punching people. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, trying to pick the turn to go all in with the guard and stuff. Um, so, you know, he's, it's... he's committing to the right wing as well. Is, I don't yeah. think he's going to be able to pull back. Yeah, that's the thing. So, like, that's the thing. He's, you know, so Monglim has got PC to commit to a side now, a bit. You know, not yeah. not totally. So now, if you can, if you can kind of keep them in on that side, then obviously it's super easy to defend against. Uh, I don't think PC really had a choice but to switch to the right, did he? Um, don't get me wrong, I don't like it. With dwarves, you want to stay centre pitch, don't you? You want to drive up the centre, yeah. but. Um, I, don't, I think Mongloom, he, Mongloom was pretty heavy on the left, so yeah. This could be some next level shit from Mongloom right now. <laughs> yeah, well, that, stun, that, that stun's pretty big. I mean, yeah. Mongloom's going to have to pull some of the Brits back, and if that happens, it allows him to swing back into the middle. I think PC at this point just has to start hitting and pushing forward, otherwise he's going to struggle a little bit. Oof! Well, he's oh, going to struggle not a, little, good. a little bit, yeah. Yeah. The classic uh, potato decoy. For, <laughs> yes. um, uh, yeah. PC is hoping that Mongloom puts about four players on that <laughs> runner right now. <laughs> the thing is, this is going to be his best chance to score as well, almost certainly, you know? Like, yeah. Because he's not breaking through. So if, if he gets a knockdown on this guy, and then uh, I guess the good thing is he can, he can put in guard here, or he can blitz with I guess he can try and do both, but... You know, he hasn't got... He, the guard in there would be pretty good. And guard in here would be pretty good. Blitzing. He's only got two guard, hasn't he? It's really screening him at the moment when you're having a two guard. But uh, I'm sure he can, like, screen up here and, and stop the switch. Yeah. The ideal turn for Mongloom here is to put two or three uh, dwarves on their backsides and just consolidate his position, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, he can yeah. knock down... He can knock down loads. He can, he can knock down one, two, three, four, five. All five of these can go down. And then PC yeah. is in... Like, you know, disaster territory. Yeah, absolutely. This guard can go in there, give this 2D, then that gives him the assist for that blitz, and then that block, and then this block, and then this block. So, yeah, I think just you just punch everybody. <laughs> I think you... I don't... Uh, maybe you can put the present on that one, but you definitely punch everybody. The most important aspect is punching everybody. <laughs> and, yeah, maybe you have it's to put a blitz running. If he's going to make a play, he's got to make a play on his uh, on his next turn, turn five, because that that stun that stun guard piece is getting up as well. I mean, it really depends on what Mongloom does here. To be fair, I think just knocking all of them down and getting a couple of pieces marked on the back is the best bet. Yeah. Max blocks. Max blocks. That's the thing. There's a lot to be said for maxing push him, blocks. Push him back into the right, don't you? Just keep him pending on the right. Yeah, I would. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'll say right, I would have gone just... I think I would have gone straight down so they'd be more compact. Compact, and yeah, so you tied could up. you corral yeah. them more easily. Yeah, yeah, no, that, yeah. That See, a good shout. Oh, wow, this guy's all... So that guy yeah, could have gone there. Yeah, he's run the way in. Yeah. That, like, this peasant could have gone here rather than there. And then when you block him, you can pound to here. And then with that guy's there, then he's completely enclosed in and stuff like that. So I quite like that. I think we have a ball base play coming up, Jim. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not sure about that because it, now he doesn't get this hit at all, right? Whereas you could have knocked both of these down potentially. Can I just say in advance, I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> if he if he is indeed going for a ball base, right, then he's Ooh. basically giving up. He's got the right hand side that, of the right? pitch. Well, what he had to do is hit, hit this first to see what happened. Yeah, like this yeah. is the big one. You have to hit this to see what happens. Did he use his reroll for the turn already? He hasn't. No, he's only got two though. Hmm. I don't know, I maybe would have re-rolled that and then followed it up, but 
You've just got to not make yeah. it because he's, now he's got two fast players behind the runner. Like he's he stayed in front yeah. of him all this time, and you know you were saying fault falls. I don't see how he gets through. Well, do you know how he gets through? There's four players on behind the ball. That's how yeah, he, gets he, he just punches. He just punches <laughs> through now. I think he yeah. had he had to reroll that if he's going to commit to that play and tag the ball. He has to commit to it, and he didn't because mm -hmm. now you got the stunned. You got the stun guy on the right. Your stun guard piece. He's just going to start punching through and running it down the field. I assume. Yeah. And he, yeah, and um. De Boomer has just pointed out that he hasn't done anything with regards to that runner. Yep. Um, so that runner can actually create a bit yeah. of a screen here. Um, I, I hate this from Mongloom. Mongloom has spunked this half. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit of a spunking. That's a hard grief, not going to lie. And he just dodged out instead of punching. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, that's not be, bad be because it's harder, to, it's harder to deal with him now. Like if he, if he pushed... If he like, if he'd only got the push, then obviously he's given the free assist. So now by dodging, um, yeah, it's not so easy to push through there. So I yeah, think he just blitzes in, just so moves them down. He's got it, right? Yes, exactly, Timmy. That's what I'm saying. So if he'd only got the push, then he would have still remained in contact. So dodging means that he's not in contact because of the stand firm. That was my exact point. Was the stand firm, Timmy? Sorry if that was lost in translation, <laughs> but yes, that was the thing. If you could have just pushed him away, then obviously you block, right? Because then you push him away, almost guaranteed. <laughs> like uh, you do you bring the do you bring the runner across as an assist for this straight four, Jim? Yeah, probably, probably. It's the GFI, isn't it? Yeah, probably. It's just, yeah, it's he's so yeah. More, yeah. Isn't it? yeah. And hit with the mighty blow, long beard that's one square behind the grab one. So then that grab long beard can go up and create a side cage, I guess. Yeah. Interesting, though, that going through here would have been better, wouldn't it? Like, that would have been the kind of... You would have got more through, but this way you're getting a better player down. But this would have been kind of better for getting more stuff through more easily, I think, because it's yeah. just two, two assists. Like, it's just one assist, isn't it? Uh, this this is perfect though. He can create he can create an easy screen here, can't he? Oh yeah, yeah. So, this is still great. Yeah. So hard committing at the end of the day. I think I think going down the centre and trying to loop back isn't a good idea. I think he's got to he's got to go now. I referred to my earlier comment that Mongloom spunked it. Yeah, I think he did a little bit. Yeah. No, you're right. He's going to screen that off as well. That's not looking good for the Brett's. To be fair, though, you're expected to score on your drive anyway. Oh, shit, yeah, he's got Frenzy. Oh, my God, he's got Frenzy. I didn't even see Frenzy in the Blitz. Oh, yeah, but he couldn't hit because of Frenzy, yeah. Regard it was nothing to do with Dan Furman. It was just he couldn't hit because he had Frenzy. I didn't even see the Frenzy. Uh, Boy, howdy. I, I get what you're saying, Big Ham, but <laughs> I, I don't like it. Um, he was he was doing really well. He didn't need to push he was. He and was. try to face the ball. He could have just consolidated his position. And he could have given PC a real problem here, but instead, he's just, yeah, just said, here you are, PC, basing... have, the key, have the keys to the rolls, mate. <laughs> I, I think basing the ball was okay, but the problem is when you've committed two other players behind those two players that you've already committed, you're uh, you're fracturing your team. Now you've got the now you've got the problem is he's just been screened off and they've pushed through. Yeah. You needed realistically to swing a couple of people back around to fortify the front, and he just didn't do it. And now the funny thing you know? is that this that looked a good situation for the Burts is now a bad one because now they're surrounded by the dwarves and can't get back to get out in front exactly, again. Yeah. So it's really what well, you know. Instead of him caging the dwarven offense, it ended up the dwarves caging the Bretonian defense. Yeah, absolutely disaster. Thing as well. turn. All of the dwarves have guard, right? So you're going to need more players than they do there to stop them from hitting you, realistically. And it just, just moving forward into those, uh, you know, into those bases, it, it didn't make sense. I wouldn't have done it. But then again, I'm not a good blood bowl player. But it seems that he's just, uh, he's just split and fractured his team when he didn't realistically need to. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was a real bad time. I I've just done the maths. I've just carried the three multiplied by the two divided by the hypotenuse. And if you base the ball, you're a knobhead. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't even base it. Basically. That was the worst thing. <laughs> he didn't even base it. He didn't even base the ball, did he? <laughs> like reverse knobhead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. If he had, if he had used one of his two rerolls there and actually based the ball, it might have turned out differently. 
No, it would have just he, he he stopped, easily he cleared it and still done this. <laughs> he would have. He would have, but there's a chance. I it, don't know. It would have been I, better I than what he did, good. but it, it was still better to just not go for the ball at all. Like, it was so oh, definitely. obvious. Yeah, it was so obvious. It, it was a crackhead play at the end of the day. I'm yeah, not sure it why it was done. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a great parting of the curtains by PC, but I mean, it was kind of easy, right? It was, it was, he just said, he, he opened, he laid down the red carpet for him. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, you live and learn at the end of the day. I think at this point, what does he, he's going to have to let him run forward. It's whether or not he tries to stop the stall or not. Yeah, he's just going to possibly get, get another couple of turns. Yeah, he just he just has to get back and try and stop the stall. He's like he's not yeah. stopping the score, but if he can stop the stall, then you know, and give himself a two-turn chance. Yeah, yeah. I was with say, well, the, with his movement, he's got yeah. With his movement plus, can he uh, can he can he one turn here? Is it possible for him to one turn? No, it's not possible. So it has no. to be a two-turn. The reason it's not possible is because Mon Mongloom's a tool. <laughs> so, no, I'm joking. All right. <laughs> no, I think PC's got enough stand firm and stuff. In He's it only too, got right? one stand firm. So is there only one? Okay. Well, mm. actually, may maybe maybe is, is it theoretically possible? It's very possible. Yeah, movement, movement, yeah. Eight, edge four, and sidestep. It's well possible. Yeah, and he's got a frenzy. So yeah, so here's the thing. Worst comes to worst. Even if it is stalled out, he's still got you know he's still got the one turn potential. But obviously, you want two turns if possible. Well, he's done a much better turn turn here. Hasn't he? He's done a yeah. much better turn here. He's got he's got all these guys intersecting, three blitzers around the ball. You know, it's going to be tricky turn yeah. for PC to try and get the stall off now. This is good pressure. And do you know what? Maybe there is a slim chance that uh, Mongloon meant to do this. Apply really decent pressure, giving himself two to three turns. So, yeah. Painted him in with a losing position is what you're saying. So a winning position. Is that the? Uh, is that what you're thinking? Well, he baited him, PC. He was ahead, wasn't? It? I mean, Monglin was ahead, and then and then he's yeah, he's gone far behind. But now he's maybe he's ahead again because this is, you know, I don't think it was trap space. But the problem with PC going there was he wasn't able to bring all these guys with him, was he? So. That is indeed right, songs. Steve Moy. Uh, the last time I said that someone had no chance doing a one turn, they one turned me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a lot harder to one turn when you move it. Edge four gets cast. Okay, Apple's worked. <laughs> there you go. Is that the one Apple that he's got? Yeah, yeah, because he didn't have inducements, did he? Mm. I mean, it's not a trap breakthrough because at the end of the day, PC's other option was just not scoring and losing, right? Like, like, like Monglooms, yeah. Monglooms turn and let PC get through and cage, but his alternative was stopping the score and counter scoring. So, <laughs> it, although although he's got the early, although he's forced the early score, it, maybe, um, maybe, probably, the, the bad thing now for PC is no real for this one D, right? His plan was to blitz him. And then and then move him up and just one D here, right? But now of course using the reroll, this one D gets incredibly scary. If he will even do it. Or maybe he'll dodge, maybe he'll get a, a two screen. Oh he, ooh, cause this guy could go here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So he goes there, so he's got a, he's got a screen, right? The blitzer goes here and he's got the screen. Yeah, he does. And then you I can I mean it's not gonna right here. Yeah, yeah, this he's is gonna, good. He's going to stall it out for at least this next turn. Yeah. Yeah, I think you dodge this guy. I guess you could one do. But wrestle's a bit shit, but then you just feel a dodge on a two anyway. So maybe just one do. I mean, the blocker is also edge three. You could just leave it there. I mean, the block, you know, it's it, there's, all, there's alternatives to dodging it out. I don't like dodging it here. I think probably punching is probably better than leaving it, but yeah, you could leave it. <laughs> All of the Brett's getting banged on as well. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Jack Bull. <laughs> the Sturgeon himself. <laughs> God, chat's being rowdy today. Hey, they're always rowdy. Yeah. Well, what do you expect? 
Blood Bowl's he's... most toxic streamer's got to have a toxic chat. <laughs> Apparently I do, yeah. I never knew. <laughs> Such rampant toxicity. Mm. That's Dead. what happens when you got a fuck ton of troglodytes in your chat, but, you know, <laughs> this is what it is. Surf the ball here? Is that is that what we're seeing? A That's the dog. obvious play, isn't it? I surf thought I'd surf ball. it with the frenzy. Yep. Can he get to it? Yep. Yeah, go big, go, go, go big or go home. Five, six, seven, eight. But he's got a what? He's got a dodge. He's got a dodge into a tackle zone. How many dodges is it? Well, look, you can you can one so D him. In. You can one D him. So it's a two plus, a two plus. Yeah. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then a four plus with a reroll. Yeah. And then a one D, and then another one D to surf him. I mean, it's probably the best play that he's got at the moment. Okay, I've, I've put through the end zone. It's gone this way. Fuck's sake, Timmy. Yes, obviously you can't serve him through the end zone, but one, two, <laughs> three, four. Timmy with a blood bowl knowledge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I think he's gone for it because he's done that. He's done that one D. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just went like that because it was, you know, pathing how to get to him. <laughs> it would be funny, though, if he does accidentally push him into the, uh, into the end zone. It would, yeah. By the way, Jack Bull, is, uh, week three is in the bag, isn't it, of the NFL? Is, is anybody in your um, NFL Fantasy Football League, is, has anybody won all, all three of their matches yet, do you know? Any of, the, any of the 12 people, has anybody won all three games? Anybody at all in the league? He's going for it. He got oh, the, he uh, goes got this the way. He's oh, going that what? way. That might be bad. Interesting. No, it's worse because now he can't surf. Yeah. He can't surf oh. through the end zone. <laughs> what a fucking stupid way to go that is, you massive wow. gut chap. No, no, no. It's because fair enough. If he gets the pow, he, like, it's 2D, isn't it? So it's 2D. So he's yeah, but it's like... a non-tackle. You needed a hard pow. He would have yeah. surfed, surfed him the other way. Yeah, yeah. He it would have, have been statistically He would have done. He would have done. So he'd have rolled a single defender stumbles and then a single push. <laughs> Just saying. That was uh, that, that wasn't good. That wasn't good at all. Nah, I don't know. That, that was pretty good. That was pretty cool. Like if he'd had tackle, it would have been a great player. And if he could surf through the end zone, it'd be an even better player. Um, but yeah, he doesn't have sidestep, so. <laughs> There's a lot of there's a lot of what if statistically it probably would have been better. And now he just uh, gives him the store. To do it the other way. Yeah, I yeah. think it was definitely better to do it my way. Yeah, I think my way was better than this. I mean, if he rolled the pow, it's all right. You know, if he rolls the pow, he follows. And I'm You're relying on the one in for him. Six. He's um he's an apo down, and he's just about to go and go do a bit of crowd surfing. He is. Yeah. yeah. This, this this gives away the score because now PC gets all of these guys back. And then it's him, bangs him out. Oh dear. Oh man. Oh no, he can, man. He can stall yeah, it another more, turn more dread, now, um, yeah. Maybe he should have pushed him anyway, giving himself the two turn. Yes, um, he should have just taken the push. Yeah. yeah, he should have. Yeah, yeah, the push is way better, but he, but he re rolled it, didn't he? Trying to get the power and then got the one in nine. Oh! oh. oh. Very PC close. Flir flirting with disaster there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got grab, and he didn't grab him there. Oh no, because he powered him. Okay. okay. Yeah, he, okay. yeah, it was. Um, couldn't even choose, could he? So, not that you would, anyway. Take the straight path, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. Um, the, so the stool doesn't look as good now, does it? <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. That's interesting. Shouldn't he have powered here? Shouldn't he have powered here and then and then come back? And yeah. The follow the follow up was. Um, I just hit the push direction. Unless you're going to foul him. I hate the he push still direction. Stole, yeah. But he could have pushed here. Yeah, because oh, now he's got wow. to go even further yeah, he back. Just, right? He just runs it. He just runs it back into into his field of. Yes, but it was just a bad push. It was a bad push direction, right? If he'd pushed it here, then then he's then he's one close or even two close. Yeah. So this was a yeah. Bit, yeah, definitely, definitely. This was a bit of a mistake, I would say, a bit of a mistake from PC. But you know, he's used to elves. We'll forgive. Maybe him. the um, maybe the skulls. He has rolled two sets of snakes this half, and he so those yeah. skulls would rattle the best of us. He's rolled lots of skulls, yeah. Yeah. To be, to be fair though, he's got enough dwarfs there that I don't think he particularly cares about making a uh, making a bad play there. I think he's still t he's still getting a, a TD next turn no matter what. Well, I don't see a world in which the Brits can stop him. Not no matter what, but yeah, it's looking good, isn't it? All these guys are back here. Like so many players are out of position from the Burt defense. Like this guy who tried to base the ball yeah. is still there. He's still. Well, that, <laughs> he's still it's what miles happens it. when you. It, 
it's what happens when you try and match dwarves, you know, man for man. You just get out punched because they've got guard on everything and you don't have guard. You've got all these ridiculous stat up on Burt's, but, you know, if you misplay and misposition, they're, they're worth fuck all in the grand scheme of things, aren't they? Mm, well, he's going to yeah, get a hit just the ball, to... isn't he? Oh, okay, yeah, he goes there. That's good, yeah. yeah. If you just decide not, to throw away your position, why do you not um, place it to the left? Damage? If you place it to the left, he just gets the ball hit by this tackler. Ah, very true. I didn't see it. He just yeah. loops around, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So he had to put it there. Yeah. He's made the chord cage. <laughs> I long for the day, right? I long for the day where PC really shafts a turn or makes a stupid mistake because then we can call him a shithead. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't happen a lot, does it? <laughs> so. <laughs> no. You're going to sit there scrolling back through years of footage and VODs just looking Yeah, for you'd be wasting your time. PC is probably <laughs> one of the most solid... You know, he's certainly up there with PTK and the best blood bowlers to have ever played this game. He's just really fucking good, isn't he? <laughs> he, he is a very, very consistent player, is yeah. what it is. Yeah. His, uh, his macro gameplay is very good. Yeah. And, uh, Honestly. I did, Jack. Well, yes, that, I, that could, that's such a glowing description. I, I checked out the league and it turns out that Jimmy Fantastic has won all three of his fantasy football games. In uh, Jack Bull's Thick Skull First Skill NFL Fantasy Football League. Isn't that amazing? What a legend. Holy go. shit, look at Dimmy G with a 2 0 0 winning record against PC. <laughs> yeah. They don't call him the champ for nothing. They don't, do they? They, they just don't call him the champ. <laughs> no, <that's>, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dimmy, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Banta! <laughs> <laughs> He's going to pop in here in a minute and just start shit-talking you. Give it a couple of minutes. Yeah. It's ASDK. Dimmy is carnage. Me and Dimmy are going to cause carnage this weekend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's going to be carnage. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you predict it, Mr. Romberg? Well, that's that's very nice of you. I, I did not predict it, because I, I, I didn't give a lot of thought to it at all. Next season, I'll give a lot of thought to it, but um, this season, I didn't. Is Dimmy a nickname for Dicky? Fucking <laughs> hell. He really hates that. <laughs> I guess Mordred might get timed out now. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, right, if Andy Davo is shorter than Wendy, I'm going to pat him on the head when I meet him. Uh, Davo is not shorter than Wendy. Oh, and he's short? All oh, right, okay. No, he's like 6'4 or something. Everyone says no, like, yeah, he ain't, is he? Yeah, yeah. He's about the same height. Oh my God, he might pat me on the head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's not that tall. Everyone acts like he's the tallest person in the world, but he's, I think he's only 6'4 or something. 6'4 is a reasonable height. I mean, I'm 6'4. It yeah. just allows you to use smaller people as armrests, honestly. Right. Holy shit, boys. See, But my mates, my mates are 6'8, six, 6'5, six, and 6'4 is the shortest <laughs> Of my, of my, my three busy mates in Darlow, that's what they are. So the answer. The short one, six four. Oh, he could have. Uh, is he blitzed yet? He must have done. Oh, then you didn't get the push. I know. Yeah. Do you know what? It's deceptive. I, if, if, I, I, I will be very. Now someone's told me I'll be less surprised, and I'm actually a little bit disappointed because I didn't expect Andy to be tall at all. <laughs> <laughs> What's the um? What's the average height for the UK now? I think it's like it's five something. I think it's like five nine. Probably think. yeah, because there's there's short yeah. people can go, you can't go that much taller, but you can go a lot shorter, can't you? I, I think the average has gone down. It used to be uh, it used to be a lot higher. It used to be closer to six than that, but you know. You can't. I know that when school. I was when I was a kid, I was always one of the tallest people around, and I was I'm six foot. Now I'm really not one of the tallest people around. I, my number two son's six foot three. <laughs> um, you know, so yeah, I he, and I, he towers over me. So I may be shrinking though, advancing age and all that. Oh, there goes another one. Bricks in permanent. I mean, it's pretty permanent when they're out of the cup. So. <laughs> Yeah, that as well. You know, it's not. But it's nice. It's nice them. seeing some niggling injuries and stuff like that, or some. Uh, do you know what would be great if uh, his little fancy move plus there got move busted? That would make me very happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what what events going on this weekend? It's the Devo tournament, tabletop tournament. I don't know what it's called. Devo tabletop tournament. Yeah. 
Mm. It's so it's so far, Darby, for me. I might have to find somewhere to charge my vehicle halfway up. <laughs> <laughs> Is it up in Derby? Everywhere's up for me. <laughs> Five nine is the world. Yeah, because you can get because you can get a lot shorter, isn't it? That's that's the thing. Even though like you know, there's the occasional seven foot people. Um, it's a lot easier to get to like five. It's a lot easier three. to be shorter than it is tall. Yeah, 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 yeah basically. <laughs> oh bloody hell! He's hosting this tournament in the middle of nowhere. Sure. I hope so. Dimmy sent me a link for the hotel that he was staying at, and I'm I'm sort of trusting Dim that he's booked this hotel relatively close to either where pubs are or where the event is. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you know, in Dimmy we trust because <laughs> I did I didn't check. In fact, I don't even know where the event is. Right, so I'm just relying on. Dimmy knowing where it is. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what happened with Jim Con. I didn't even know where we were meeting or where the hotel was or anything. It was a complete and disaster. Organise it. You just turn up to a. You just turn up to the bloody brewery, and yeah. that yes, you turned up late too as well. I have no idea where it is. No idea. So, um, if Dimmy knows the directions, I'll happily drive it. So there we go. <laughs> And uh, yeah, this isn't this isn't a proper dwarf team. It's only fifteen fifty. It's a it's a very small dwarf team, you know. But it's it's got plenty of guard and mighty blow, and it's got enough, hasn't it? It's, but yeah, it's obviously not not that big. Not a big. They're gonna dwarf set up team. for the one turn here. Yeah, he's got a chance, but he hasn't got a reroll because he rerolled that dub skulls um, on the last turn. But uh, yeah, yeah, it wasn't terrible by Mongloom, but he just made he made too many mistakes, which you know you can't you can't do and get away with versus PC. Unless he grows really shit. <laughs> and to answer uh, Steve Motti, Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> you won't get that if you uh, if not only did you not see the question, but he said, "Are you the Denny Crane of Blood Bowl?" And there's a TV show called Boston Legal, and I never watched it at the time because it's like 18 years old. Um, but it was actually it's actually an incredible TV show and one of the best TV shows I've ever seen. And in it is William Schnatner, William Schnatner? Shatner, who is called Denny Crane, and he just constantly just says his name all the time, like just all the time throughout it. It's an amazing character, and he's won a lot. He like won loads of awards and stuff for it, and mostly he's just saying his character's name. It's incredible. <laughs> It's absolutely incredible. Yeah, you don't want the frenzy making the initial blitz because you've got people to make the second hit anyway. You want the frenzy making the last hit. So he is, he is setting up for it. Yeah. Let's see if he can uh, see if he can execute it after his absolute shoddy stall performance in the uh, midway through the match. Let's see if he has the brain cells to uh, to perform the one turn. Yep. We're about to find out. Riot. He doesn't have to. Oh yep. wow. That's uh, that's big. It's huge. Wow. Yeah, that's really bad for PC. <laughs> Suddenly he finds himself horribly out of position. <laughs> yeah, the, the thing that he's got going for him is that there's a, the best blitzer probably is over the other side. You know, like obviously the action move is, is good here. But like if he had the blitzers on the same side, the right would have been amazing, wouldn't it? But now he's going to have to use the wrestler to blitz this guy. Peasants yeah. out and then get the, get the blitzer to here or something. So what you have to do is you have to clear that single dwarf on the LOS, get one of those on the left-hand side down, and then base the other long beard that's sort of second bank of two in yeah. to minimize the amount of dwarves that PC can physically bring across. Yeah. The other four, you don't even worry about, do you? They're out of the drive now. Yeah, gets the power. Oh, I, I hate I hate that blitz. No, I, I love it. it. I love it. You've, you've got to do it. You've got to blitz him. I, lo I love the injury. <laughs> without piling on, I guess you could have blitzed with without mighty blow, but you have, blitz out, him, you have to blitz him. You have to him on the blockers, right? Because he stand firm. So you lit, it's you blitzing with either him or him. You have to I blitz him because you have to get him. You have to have the blitzers available, and you have yeah. to get him down. So he's out of rerolls as well. That last reroll that Dog to the Dog said you can't reroll. I was like, but it was dub skulls, but I didn't realize it was his last reroll. Um, and yeah, he, he had to. He, hey, great know, outcome though, isn't it? An amazing outcome, yeah. Even if you, he, you know, he, he's, he's looking to score here, but even if he doesn't score right now, that's a pretty good outcome. Yeah. 
He's just going to set up on the sideline and just score. I don't see any way of PC stopping him here. Um, he doesn't have the movement allowance for it. Yeah. So no now you tags. base now you base both these long beds, don't you? Stop yeah. them moving at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just tag these two. Yep. I mean, as, as you said as well, I mean, the four on the right-hand side are completely out of it. You just got to worry about the four on the left. Yeah. yeah he, just tags it. he just tags them up. They don't have the edge to move out of it. No yeah. movement allowance on the other four. I think he, uh, I think he gets it here off the back of that. That was, uh, that was very good luck, to be honest. It was, yeah. Artemis would be doing backflips right now over this kickoff event, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah, he would yeah. be going. He would be going effing ballistic. <laughs> yeah. And then you just pick, bring the ball up to here, yeah. PC will just four plus dodge them all. Yep, that's true. But yeah, I wish he bet he wishes he had a reroll. Just bought his move edge guy and concede. I don't think that's what PC will be doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so blitz off, uh, blitz off one of these peasants and try to screen. Alternatively, just go for the peasant um, that's in the bank of free. If you if you blitz off one of these peasants, then you free a long beard. Um, and you utilize a long beard from the right hand side. Well, you can what get you, you can get the blitzer and the runner over there, can't you? you yeah. Can get, he yeah. can GFI once to get there. He could double GFI to get there. So you could make a screen just on GFIs. Yeah. As yeah. an option, um, and then then you've got the yeah then you've got the added thing of maybe he's using a blitz somehow. Um, yeah, I, I I think yeah if he blitzes off the um, the peasant. Yeah, um, this on, one and then back three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or oh, oh, this one. This, this works this way. Yeah, yeah that's 2D, yeah, yeah. Then you're giving up getting him over. That was the thing, right? You could have tried to get them him over as well if you'd done it the other way. So PC's going to have to make a GFI to shore this up here, isn't he? Yep. Yeah, this was safer to get. This was the safest way of getting a screen. Yeah. To be fair. And he gets the screen. He gets the, he gets the GFI. So I mean, what? How does how does he get through here? He just dodges through three three two. Yeah. That's the uh, brainless play. He's got, he's got a movement up. So if he blitzes off this oh, yeah, he long beard, him. yeah. I was going to say, can he not? Bank. Yeah, can he yeah. not smack out that front long beard and just go through there? Is that not better than doing the three three two? It is, yeah. Yeah, it is. yeah, yeah. It's three two two if he manages to get the push on that long beard. Yeah. One two three four five six seven eight. Yeah, he's move up. So. And he's not dodging through tackle either if he manages to get the push on the long beard. Yeah. <laughs> Without a reroll, though, as well, that's the other thing. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, th this is the play. Yeah, you just you blitz with a uh, blitz with a wrestle as well. Yeah. yeah. So he's almost guaranteed to get him down, and it's and it's that's uh, not mighty blow, but still, blitz him with a wrestle, and then see what happens. Is he going to try and chain him out? Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, that's really nice. If he gets the pal, if he gets the push, it's a, it's a bit worse, right? If he gets the oh, push, it's worse. This is a gamble, Jim. It is a gamble. If he doesn't, yeah. if he doesn't get, if he doesn't get the pal, he spunked it, and he. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is this is the gamble. I, I wouldn't have gone for it because I would have gone for the you know just the two D and then do the extra, yeah. the extra two plus and GFI. But this way, if he gets the pal, it's obviously the best because it's not. Oh, he has to, he has to get the pal here, 55%, right? Fifty five percent. Yep. Oh, the the wrestle is okay. The rest is okay, and this just leaves him the three, the threes. It's not the worst, but yeah, he can't go around the outside because he put all these guys in. So it's yeah, a three, didn't, three, didn't three, like three two. No, I didn't like it. It was too much of a gamble for me. Oh, let's see if he does so it. His first dodge is a three plus, three plus, three plus, three plus, two plus. Yeah, yeah, lots of threes. But he does have dodge. Oh! No. If only he had the reroll for the two plus. 
Yeah. Never lucky. Unbelievable. So close. Why did he go through tackle? He didn't. He didn't, tackle. did he? There was no, no he didn't go through tackle. No, he tackle. didn't, yeah. Was there tackle? I don't think there was. No, 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 there wasn't on that. No, it was two blitzers and a runner. I'm pretty sure. Um, potential equity shift has been thwarted. Yep. Uh, you know, and like, you know, it was through no good play from Mongolian, right? It was just the shitty kickoff event. Yeah. <laughs> we should point out the other way. It was certainly no cert with no reroll, wasn't no, it? You no, know, no. The um, other, the other way would have been um, two plus with dodge and then two GFIs without, you know, yeah. so. So he did roll a one on the third action, didn't he? So, uh, you know, he was probably destined. No, actually, he wouldn't have made the block. So maybe he would have made it. Who knows? Who knows what would have happened? Yeah, but, uh, yeah. It, you know, it, obviously, in his way, if he rolled the pow, then he just gets through without any dodges and one GFI. So, fifty-five percent of the time, his way is incredible. Uh, but the, the, the other thing as well, forty-five percent of the time, his way is a bit shit. <laughs> yeah. The the other thing as well is, you know, we're we're sitting up here in the ivory tower of casting, but when you got that timer ticking down, and you're uh, you're looking at committing to plays, you know, sometimes you are going to make those mistakes, and you're going to go for those gambles that you really shouldn't have. And I think it was uh, it was difficult without the reroll, no matter what. There, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't you know. bad. It wasn't bad. It was just, it was just kind of high risk, high reward, right? Who, who knows yeah. what the, uh, you know, unless you samber it all, it's going to be very hard to, to. It's even if you samber it because things are contingent on like you know, plan. Your plans can change depending on what you roll. So um, even with samber, it would be hard to work out the mathematically best thing. I just think, yeah. well, I think Kaz's way was the best way, but you know the other way might have been better overall just because it's so good if you roll the power on the first one like the 55 percent of the time it's it's so good so who knows yeah i didn't hate it you know i thought it was the worst choice of the two but i didn't hate it unlike his positional brain fire around turn four yeah there, there was no excuse of that that i think was bad play and mispositioning i think he just got a bit unlucky there but to be fair i mean he wouldn't have got that position anyway in the uh for, for the uh attempt to score there if he hadn't have got the uh, kickoff event anyway. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, so he can't feel bad about it. like if if he had yeah. actually played good defense to give himself a two turn chance, he could feel bad about it. But he just got lucky from the kickoff results. So fair enough. yeah, exactly. Yeah, but if it's the highest odds machine, it's the highest odds, and I don't know what the highest odds are. So who knows? At the end of the day, you got to look at it. Blood Bowl is a macro game. You know, there's there's no micro for it. There's you know, there's no reaction times. It is purely about you know how your brain works and if you can identify these uh, these positions. And you always go for the statistically highest option at the end of the day. In that situation, it's all about finding yeah. those. In that situation, you do. But there, in other things, there's different things because there's like there's failure states of, of like you know how bad it is if it's not the last turn of the game or the last turn and a half yeah. it's how bad is the fail like you know if, if one of those ways is more likely that your uh, edge 4 move it edge 4 dies then it might be worth like losing a couple of percent to you know make yeah, exactly. the pass so he can't he can't die and stuff like that I mean that that's what separates players in Blood Bowl realistically is being able to identify those positions, and that's what separates good players from great players. Because once you've played enough Blood Bowl, you kind of hit that critical mass where you can you can identify the correct plays. But it's just it's stringing them together, and I don't think I don't think Mongloom has been stringing them together, and PC's been taking advantage of that. I think. Mm. Slightly better to go for the power chain. I'm not sure, Doctor Dog. It would take a lot of working out, and I, I'm not going to. Basically, and that's Let's trivia. Ben Bobagans. Also, so. if he played well and got the two-turn chance, um, PC would have set up to defend a two-turn, so he wouldn't have had such an easy chance as well, right? So, like the reason he got such an easy chance to score was because PC had defended the one-turn. Yeah, that kickoff of Ben was brilliant. Okay, so Brett turns to throw. You never know. He could get lucky and get a couple of dwarves down, even with the thick skull. Remove a couple of them. Yep. I think he has to try and push for overtime here. I don't think he can. I, I don't think he can score early and then attempt to attempt to score again, taking it off the dwarves. I think he has to push it for OT. Well, therein lies the issue. The more he pushes for OT, the more hits he gives dwarves the more removals yeah. he's going to take. If he exactly. scores early, 
then you'd expect PC to grind him into the dust 2-1, wouldn't you? Yes. But you you look at it. I mean, there's been what? It was two two Kazes, um on the three. on the side. Oh, it's more than that now. Three. He appoed one of them, so he's got one appo. Is he? No, he hasn't got an appo no, left. Oh no, PC's got so, one. So yeah, appo. PC's got one appo. I mean, yeah, it, it's a difficult one. I don't think he. I don't think he can score early and try and take it off of them. I think that would be that would be suicide. I think he's got to slowly try and bide his time and look for a breakthrough. On the uh, on the last turns of the drive, realistically, and try and try and reduce as much damage as possible. Yes, PC used one apple. He had two. He's down yeah. onto TV, and uh, yes, obviously he's going to try and score on turn eight. The problem is he might just not be able to because of PC's draw. So you yeah. know, if he's got to score early, he's got to score early. He could have even dackered. He could have even tried to dacker in this game, but um, yeah, PC's still tough. got that wizard as well. Yeah, that's the thing. So yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? You know. Might not be able to. He just might not yeah. be able to stall it out. That's the problem. And it's better to score early than just lose two 0 isn't it? So, so, so. Um, yeah. I don't know. It looks like he's setting up for a push here. He's basing the dwarves. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. He is. He is definitely setting himself up to get destroyed. And he doesn't. He doesn't really have enough agility to play the passing game either. This uh, this isn't great for the Burts here. I'm not gonna lie. I still I think PC uh, PC is definitely in the equity favour here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly, Jahani. And I don't understand why he's being so aggro and putting it in in the middle of a load of dwarves. They've all got guard. He's just gonna get outbashed. I mean, he's got one strength plus, but apart from that, he, he's just gonna get banged on, isn't he? He is going to get banged on, yeah. He's, he's, got, like, he's fast enough that if he can dodge back, he can try and rotate back into the middle. But he's, he's just going to get banged. Ooh, like, why is he doing this? Oh, GFI wow. PC, he rerolls it as well. What is well, he PC has to, there, seeing here? I, he has to, because otherwise he just breaks through the left side. That's weird. When you say weird, Jim, you mean shit. I do, yeah. But it's PC, so... Ah, uh, it's so he could free him up to get the 2D on the strength 4. So that's why he did it. Oh, there you go. If a good player does something shit, there's a reason they're doing it, isn't it? That's the thing. If a shit player does something shit, you're just like, well, that's shit. But it's weird, it's and that's why he did that's it. That's another injury. That's why he did it, to set up the 2D on him. What do we know? So it wasn't shit. See, like, even, that's, when you, uh, even when you hope he's shit, he's not. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. That's why I didn't say it was shit. I didn't say it was shit, Calcium. I said it was weird, and that's why it was weird, you know, because he obviously re roll and thing, but then obviously he got really lucky, to be fair. Not only did he get the 55% POW, you know, he gets the army break, and then he gets the I, I think it's I think it's over here. That's his strength plus gone. Now he can't outbang the dwarves. The dwarves are just going to bang on him. I, I think now he's got no choice but to try and score early and take it off of him. He's yeah. not going to win the. He's not going to win the punching game here. There no, is no he's chance he wins. He's it. absolutely getting shit on right now. And yeah, have you fallen? Have you fallen down a hole, calcium? I assumed you were like away from the keyboard or something. But I am actually painting a minotaur. Oh, so... oh. <laughs> a bit of body I art. Am, yeah, I am. I am multitasking right now. So uh, I've decided that the mino that I had for Friday or the weekend. Uh, wasn't good enough, and I got the Forge World Mino, the one with the claws, which I think is actually quite a cool mini. So mm. I'm just in the process of finishing up painting that. I've also <laughs> bought myself a wet palette, um, which I'll be honest, I'm struggling with at the moment. It's really weird. Yeah. So, um, but I'm going to persevere with it because, you know, I'm starting to try and do things like blending and shit like that. So, very nice. Wet yeah, palettes but, are always nice. I quite like them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, dear. Moist, moist folk force. <laughs> moist palettes, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I I kind of cheat <laughs> when I uh, when I paint miniatures. I use the uh, you know the Citadel contrast paints, the ones that do all that shading and stuff for you. Oh, they're brilliant. They're really yeah. good. So I I tend to use a, what I do. I mean, have you seen the slap chop technique? I have. Where haven't. you undercoat a miniature black. And then you yeah. dry brush the shit out of it grey, highlight the edges on white, and then just apply the contrast paints where you want. It's yeah. a snapshot. 
Mm. It is fantastic. You can turn over miniatures in 15 minutes and they look amazing. Mm. It's such a good technique. Black um, got miniature painting, yeah? Yeah, slap chop. Yeah, look it up on YouTube. Um, Google there's, it. Yeah, there's yeah. this. Book, and, and it's really, really fucking cool. It's slap um, chop technique. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so look at that, see? Oh, that's really. Do that, you know what? That must piss off all the fucking elitists. <laughs> honestly. That, that looked really good. <laughs> really, really good. I put a lot of effort into the pictures I'm taking, right, on Friday. And a couple of things I hope don't happen. One, somebody can teach them, right? Because I'm no painter, all right? And two, I haven't marked my miniatures of having block. To be fair, the only skills I'm really taking are Dirty Player and Mighty Blow anyway, right? So, you know, I, I'm going up there with the theme. To, I'm not looking to win, I'm just looking to execute my opponent. That, that's why I'm going to win. And I'm waiting for some beardy twat to go, oh, you should have marked your miniatures with the skills corresponding to what they've got. <laughs> yeah, if that happens, it's probably not going to end particularly well. Yeah. You could, there's loads of options now. I mean, you can get little stickers that go on the bases. You can get, like, metal rings. Uh, now with the skills that you just, you know, you slot the miniatures into. There's loads of options for it. Yeah, I, I did think about that. And then I thought I might take the um, alternative um, sort of line where I just say, that figure's Skeletor. He's got my dirty player, all right? <laughs> and then, you know, and that'll do. And then, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll be happy for someone to look at my team roster whenever they want. So, I mean, I'm assuming you give them a team sheet. You give them a team sheet, right, at the start of the match. Yeah. Or well, that... I'll, I'll, I'll print off a couple, you know. Print, so print off actually, a, print, or like laminate. Idea, laminate a team sheet if you've got a laminator and just hand that to people at the start of the match. Because yeah, then they've got that's... no excuse, as long as you've got numbers on them as well. Yeah. That's Have you got, really like, positional thing. numbers? That's, that's the way I've always done it. They are pretty obvious what they are, you know. They are masters of the yeah. universe figures. And I haven't sort of doubled up on any of them, so they're obvious what they are, you know. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I, so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that that's not the case. I'm sure most people will be pretty cool. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm literally not going there to win, you know. I'm yeah. At the end of the day, Loom Band's as long as the it's... Best. Loom Band's the best. It, honestly, it would do my head in if, me personally, Calcium, even, you know, it's different with it being you, but like if it was just a random person, it would do my fucking head in if they had a team of Masters of the Universe and just said, oh yeah, Skeletor's got this and stuff. I'd be like, oh my god, what the fuck is any positional? Who the fuck has any skills? It would fucking kill me. <laughs> so oh, there actually, you go. Loom bands. I, might, I might get some <laughs> Loom Bands, actually. That's a really good idea. Um, because unfortunately, I haven't got standard bases, but I've, I've gone for those really funky, like the resin bases that you can buy, the skull ones and stuff, so... You know, you just paint them up and they look really cool. So, yeah. Loom Bands is a really good shout. Yeah, like, that's Loom right. Bands are a good way of doing yeah, it, yeah. definitely, yeah. 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 Plus, then you can make yourself a little nice bracelet as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Friendship band for me and Dimmy. <laughs> Sorry, oh, yeah. you lost. Here's a, here's a band. <laughs> I don't know. With with miniatures, at least, at, at least you're not one of those sea nuts who... Uh, used as a load of anime figures that have nothing to do with Blood Bowl, you know, or anything fantasy related. I mean, he nearly has. <laughs> no, no, I mean, no, it's, so, it's, fan so it's I fantasy enough. Comment, it's fantasy I enough. I took exception to that comment. These are legit Blood Bowl miniatures just themed with Master of the Universe. Yes, you were, fantasy you football. Your, yeah. Me and you nearly fell out, right? But you put... <laughs> Oh, they're almost hero clicks. And I'm like, fuck off, Jim. They're almost hero clicks. You northern twat. What the fuck are you on about? Honestly. I, I put so much effort into it. And Jim's like, yeah, fucking hero clicks. And I'm like, broke my heart. Seriously. Broke my heart. <laughs> I wish I could apologize, but you know, they're nearly hero clicks. <laughs> Brutal. See, no mercy, no mercy from the Don of Team Fantastic. Honestly. Yeah, that's it. They're fantasy football. They're not. They're not Blood Bowl. They're, they're, they're all. Everybody who makes these miniatures are very, very careful to not call them Blood Bowl. They're all fantasy football. <laughs> yeah, well, I fancy my chances against Jervis. So you know. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Fantasy football. Yeah. Um, I take it they're fine, aren't they? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I have put an exceptional amount of effort into painting them, and I really hope people enjoy playing against them. 
yeah. you know, and enjoy the free win. <laughs> <laughs> if he ever goes to an event, I'm not sure I will ever go to an event again after Kalon. After I played somebody who had an undead team and I couldn't tell what any player in his team was, and it did my head in. So there you go. No, it's just a single skills on all my um, on eight of the players, Marzen. So it's just single skills. I haven't doubled up any skills. So. <laughs> you're all clicks after all. Machina, you're brutal, honestly. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Banter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe, Steve, I could turn up and just go, Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> I, should, I don't know whether I should try and make it a thing. The Denny Crane. <laughs> I, could think, I could think about it. I might do, I might, I might, I might do an event, like, you know, we could do, we've got, we've got, we've got the space. The problem is it's in Darlo, right, and like, who the fuck wants to go to Darlo? Like, I don't want to go to an event in Darlo, do you know what I mean? And I live here for Christ's sake. <laughs> so that is a problem with having an event in Darlo. I'm now going to get a photograph of Andy Dabo patting me on the head. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm actually really looking forward to it. It's a lot of hassle, you know, with the amount of kids I got. My weekends are normally pretty sacred, but um, yeah, it, it's going to be really cool. First and foremost, to catch up with Dimmy. Um, that's a priority for me. Catching up with Dim is going to be just amazing, and everyone else there as well. You know, there's going to be a bunch of people that I've heard of and that I know. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun and. Songs will be sung, drinks will be drunk. I will fucking. And I guess we drop have to play a bit of Jesus. fucking Blood Bowl as well. Yeah. <laughs> Dar was better than Derby. Yeah, to be fair, I wouldn't fancy Derby. And I went out in Nottingham once and it was, well, twice, but like, the one time was a fucking nightmare. I thought I was going to get shot. It was horrific. Like, it was actually horrific the last time I went out in Nottingham. It was unbelievably bad. Like, it was so bad. We literally saw, we literally, we literally saw a, a girl with just cocaine all over her face. <laughs> Not even exaggerating, it was just literally all over her face. It's like fucking hell. <laughs> I've, I've never been to, I've been to Nottingham before, but I've never been to Derby, so. <laughs> and then we saw another one, we saw another one devouring a kebab like, like she was a zombie eating brains. It was hilarious. <laughs> Always the sign of a good night out, to be fair. That's another injury for the Brits as well. Mm. Yeah, this game was over. Yeah. It turned into the second half, wasn't it? So it was... Um, a little but, you bit, know. yeah. Well, what can you do? Which part of Nottingham? I don't know. It, was, it seemed pretty small, just like kind of the town kind of the town centre kind of thing. Nottingham was an interesting place. Yeah, it was. It was actual. It was actual Kofu Kaki. Yeah, was, we couldn't fucking believe it. <laughs> I mean, maybe it was just icing sugar. You know, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have said that. That was a, <laughs> an unfair allegation. <laughs> it might have been icing sugar. <laughs> so everybody snorts icing sugar, yes? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baking powder. It could have been baking powder. Who knows? No, you can't snort baking powder. It completely fucks up the inside of your nose because it's actually very coarse. Mm. Pasta sugar you can do it with. I've been told. <laughs> I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, once during my uh, my more youthful years, around the age of, I think I was like 15, 16, you know, uh, you know those UFO saucer sweets you get? Oh, yeah. We, uh, we, we, we did crack a couple of those open and snort it. That didn't end well. Oh, God. We snorted something one time, something really fucking stupid, I remember. I, like, I remember snorting re something really stupid. I just can't remember what it was. Shit. Not shit. It was definitely not shit. Shit was me thinking shit. I can't remember. 
It was in it was in the Tanner's Hall, so it was probably a condiment, maybe uh, maybe uh, Tanner's Hall, like uh, Weatherspoons. It was a Weatherspoons, uh, so it was like it was probably a con so like maybe maybe mayonnaise, maybe we snorted mayonnaise. Why would you snort mayonnaise? Have all the things to snort, you decide to snort mayo. Maybe yeah, it was maybe mayonnaise. Oh damn. Yeah, I remember it's just like we were all, you know, we were all off our tits on, uh, you know, what's it called, vodka, vodka, red, not even vodka red bulls, absinthe red bulls. So, um, oh, God, absinthe is just rough. Yeah, yeah, not not anymore. Don't do absinthe. No, not no. a good idea. No, I don't do it anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> so it might be maze. I can't remember though. I can't remember what it was. It might it might have been something more normal, but um. It could have been. Mayonnaise. I mean, you were told it was mayonnaise, Jim. I mean, you might, you might have <laughs> something else. No, I can't remember what it was. <laughs> did you? Did you actually see them get the mayo? No, I can't remember. I can't remember what it was. It might not mm. have been mayonnaise, but, but we just we all did it. We all just got something random, and we were all snorting like something random. But I don't know what it was. I can't remember. HBK fucking drank a glow stick. I don't know why you do that. That's Jesus terrible. Christ. Jesus Christ. Great. We used to crack open glow sticks and rub them onto our skin, and that worked pretty well. Mm. But drinking them, nah. Someone at Royal Mail drank hand sanitizer from the uh, from the hand sanitizer while he was at work. And it was, Do you uh? He was you hear, did, up. You, did you hear about the Royal Mail delivery guys? So, uh there's obviously seized packages, right? Yeah. Um, and they they seized a load of edibles. <laughs> and they decided to uh, they decided to basically give them to their colleagues, thinking they were normal chocolate bars. <laughs> they ate a load. They, they ate a load of them. And then midway through the day, they literally had to send out a van just picking up all of the posties in the local area because half of them just couldn't walk. They just collapsed on the side of the road. <laughs> Amazing, brilliant. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah it could have just I mean, been what vodka. The... I don't know. I don't know what it was. A bunch of my relatives, um, we were actually talking about this last Saturday. We were talking about um, um, basically um, you know, when, when you go and sprinkle the ashes somewhere of a uh, departed loved one. And it was my Auntie Margaret and a bunch of my family went over to Portland Bill to scatter the ashes. And as they poured the ashes out over the edge of Portland Bill, um, a gust of wind come back and everybody wore the ashes. So they sort of ingested Auntie Margaret. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> So you know, insofar as snorting stuff, that's probably not what you want to do, is it? No, that's that's got to be up there for the worst, hasn't it? Relative, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be up there for the worst, yeah. What you would have wanted? <laughs> Dust all over your clothes and in your mouth and there. Yeah. God, amazing. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, if that happened, you know, if somebody goes to sprinkle my ashes and I do some stupid shit like that. With my ashes, I'm, I would be well chuffed, but I'll be dead, so I won't know about it. But yeah. assume that I would have been chuffed about it. <laughs> <laughs> my last time eating your Annie March. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, pretty bad. Pretty bad. Tasted like paint. Um, you threw a glow on stick. Do you know I haven't I haven't drunk paint. I've uh, I've just like you know licked it and stuff, but I've never I've never that's drunk paint. That's really dangerous. If it's a latex based paint, that's a, uh, that's that's you dead if you do that. That's really really, really dangerous. Yeah. I, I've dipped not, not not latex paint or anything. I don't know. Is that what you said? What well, the the classic that you do with, with painting Citadel miniatures is? You know, you have you you wash your uh, you have your paint water right that you wash all the paint off in, and then you have a cup of tea, and then occasionally you'll drink you'll drink the paint water, and occasion, paint water, and occasionally yeah. you'll you'll put your brush in the tea. And I've only ever put my brush in the tea. I've never I've never drank the paint water. <laughs> I, why I will never use a I'll never use a like what they called. I never use a, a cup as a cleaning uh, a cleaning pool. Never. Always mm. use a different container because you will do that. Yeah. Well, I never did. Yeah. <laughs> speaking of uh, speaking of ashes, I can't really post it in chat, but I'll put it in your uh, your general chat. This is another thing that you can uh, you can do with ashes, Jim. I think you'd approve of. Okay. People in uh, people in chat, go have a look at general on Jim's server. Okay. Coincidentally, if you're not in Jim's Discord server. Oh yeah. There you go. There you go. Thanks, Faulty. Oh, Marsum, thank you very much for the link for the um, the skill bands. 
Uh, I will have a look now, and I may well order some actually because. I think it doesn't work. Hold. Yeah, the skill guns are really cool. I think it doesn't work. I think it doesn't work. Let me uh, let me try getting rid of the. Uh... Try getting rid of the fucking amp at the beginning of it. <laughs> I tell you what, I, I, amp, man. I looked at this slap chop and it's incredible, isn't it? Holy it shit. It is so good, Jim. Honestly, it's changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could get me that could get me playing games workshop again, honestly. <laughs> Holy shit. It is so good. You know, um I, I assume Games Workshop want people to find the painting experience easier and more complete you know um so but this slap chop is just yeah it's awesome i I've, I've actually used it in about five or six of my miniatures um including the troll i've just painted up i painted up using the slap chop technique and it's brill mm. oh god it's a, Give that a try it does look really good it's a dildo urn oh my god <laughs> offers the possibility to conserve the ashes of the deceased while also manifesting an immortal desire. <laughs> <laughs> oh when my I, God. I, that's why I want to be done with my ashes. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty great to be honest. Holy shit. That is I was actually great. thinking about it the other day. If I do die and I'm cremated, that's on the top of my list. Second on the top of my list is going to Disneyland and getting my ashes scattered on It's a Small World, <laughs> just to piss people off. <laughs> Man, it does come in a lovely case. That is amazing, yeah. You can just Google Slapchop, Samaj, I just Google Slapchop, there's like a bunch of uh, examples there. Some some better than others, but like it mostly looks pretty fucking good. Like Hold super up 21 fast. grams of ashes as well in the Dildurn. Mm. Dildurn? That's <laughs> <laughs> well, called the Dildurn. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those skill bands do look absolutely amazing. Mm. Except I wouldn't have time to order them, so I'll have to manage without them. But I will keep that in mind. I, I, I know it won't be a problem. I will make it absolutely clear who's got what, you know. And they're only single skilled players. Um, you know, I got two players with dirty player, so that you know my intentions are clear at this competition. <laughs> I'm not like, going there to just win. Get, get yourself a printout sheet for them, and it will be. I don't see any problems with that. As long as they've got a copy yeah, and they yeah, know the numbers, yeah, yeah. you know, it's it's not that bad, is it? Yeah. And I, I want to make it, you know, I want to make it as easy as possible for my opponent, as fun as possible. So, um, you know, enjoy the enjoy the win. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should invest in a 3D printer at this point, Kaz, because you can always 3D print small things like this, including bases with the markers denoted on them. Yeah. Um, Samich, I have five sons, so I don't have any bands lying around. <laughs> I have no daughters that I know of. Yeah. Five sons, bloody hell. Yeah, funnily enough, that movie, that movie 300 was, was about, was about <laughs> Calcium's kids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I should wake him up like that, shouldn't I? Spartans! <laughs> you oh, should! Oh! Oh! <laughs> that would be fucking sick, holy shit. That would be actually awesome, you, you totally should. <laughs> uh, fun side fact, I'm actually my number four son, Benjamin. He's training Taekwondo with me now, and he is a stone-cold killer. He is an athlete, and he is hitting really, really ridiculously hard. <laughs> Which is cool. So, uh, yeah, well chuffed about that. <laughs> Do you ever beat the shit out of him in Taekwondo just to establish dominance? <laughs> oh, you can imagine how much more grief he gets while I'm teaching him as opposed to, you know, I have to be nice to the other kids because there's rules and, you know, <laughs> fucking child safety laws and all that Tim, shit. You can just, yeah. Yeah. Benjamin, he's just going to get it, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> no mercy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's the first one that's volunteered for your demonstrations. Yeah, yeah. But he's he's loving it. He's he's just done his first grading, so he's a yellow tag at the moment, and um, he's he's loving it. He can't get enough for training, so really happy with that. My eldest son trains with me as well. He'll be going. Uh, so Lewis will be going for his black belt end of the year, mm -hmm. um, which is really really cool. And he's fucking good at it as well. So yeah, no. Um, the other kids aren't interested. My number five son's too young at the moment. Josh is like, oh, uh, taekwondo. It's shit. <laughs> All right, mate. <laughs> but if I was going to do martial arts, I'd do a real martial art like Muay Thai. All right, mate. 
be... I can't argue with that. <laughs> Uh, just to get back to this Blood Bowl match that's been happening yeah. for like six turns with us not saying anything yeah, there was a, yeah it was a huge move by PC there because if he hadn't done that he could have blitzed their block there and actually got through with somebody but I mean it's still it's still looking we can I mean, ignore that what? there was a brief chance of it being interesting but don't worry it was I mean it was he gets not. through and then what he just gets bolted well yeah but it, it might have failed like he would have had something instead of nothing yeah. like he's got nothing at the moment <laughs> so but impenetrable Mm. Is uh is PC going to do the the spite move? Is he going to spite wizard at the end? I, mean, probably, I hope he yeah. does. Probably he's got the last turn. Don't see why not. Uh, is it is it above him, or is no. he is he going to go for the spite? He coaches. I mean, dwarves. they're already eliminated anyway, aren't he they? He coaches dwarves. <laughs> so while things may be above him physically, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, nothing's. Things might be no, nothing's below him physically or uh, morally. <laughs> I think, um, you know, uh, to be fair, Mongolians played an okay game here. He made mistakes in the first half, but I, I, I sort of have a bit of pity for Mongolian right now because it's at this point. You know the game's lost. You, you've, yeah. you've got to play the last couple of turns out, which is fucking stupid, yep. you know. Um, but that's we've we've done that I'll conversation. Just pass there. Yeah, you can soft concede, can't you? I, I, I guess maybe Mongloom thinks he can do something here. He's wrong. I don't think he can. <laughs> <laughs> He's wrong. Yeah. I mean, to, to be fair, I mean, as, as again, I'm, I'm no Blood Bowl expert. I definitely am a shitter. But from my perspective, looking at the game, you know, he, he went up against dwarves thinking he could play a punching game when he had to play a positional game, and I think that is genuinely just what lost him the game. Yeah, you know? well, it, I mean, it was he got he got his strength four hit and cast instantly, and yeah. while that was really lucky from PC, you know, PC tried to get lucky by doing the GFI blitz to to set it up, and then did get lucky with the removal. And it's not it's not just even that. Like in in the first half, right in the first drive, halfway through it. He'd split the dwarves. He was in an amazing position, and then he just he just based all of them up, and you know. Well, no, it would actually work if he if, if he actually. Straight. I mean, if he'd done what you said and just tried to fight them, it would work better. He tried to do a positional game, but fucked it up and. I, lost I don't know. I think either you either you have to go commit to the brawling and just outplay the dwarves with positioning because you've got the you've got the extra movement allowance, right? Or you just don't fight them at all. And you uh, and you just play the game with Fend. I mean, that is what Fend is for. Right? I mean, you can't you is can't play you that can't do that. Game. You have to fight them. You have to fight them. Otherwise, you're just going to get you know wrecked. Yeah. But he it's, just it's he just didn't there. fight them. He went round the back with trying to blood step. It was terrible. Like that that mistake yeah. lost him lost in the first half. But then he still nearly scored, didn't he? Thanks to the riot. And then second half, he's just had nothing because dwarves are just better well, nice. than Brits. Dwarves of Dwarf, didn't they? Yeah. You know, um, so yeah, they you know, um, you can't hate on Mongloom for his second half performance because he's yeah. been able to do next to nothing. Yeah. Yep. That's what happens when you go up against dwarves, guard spamming is pretty fucking good. Yep. And PC's pretty fucking good as well, you know, like there's people yeah. that wouldn't have dominated this as well as PC did. Yeah. But you know, it was pretty much over that when we just started talking about all lords of bollocks because <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. pretty much was over. I do what get horribly next? sidetracked very easily. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so I'm sorry in advance. I'm like a really bad commentator. I talk about all kinds of stupid shit. <laughs> where, is, uh, where is Houston Chalice? How many games are left? And this is the second round, so it's the round of thirty-two. Yeah, round so like 32. twelve twelve games left. Um, <laughs> twelve games, bloody hell! <laughs> this no, I, no, it's. Five, six total, on it? Five, yeah, six, six? total. So there's, 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 so there'll be the round of 16, then there'll be the quarter final, and the semi final, and the final. So yeah, four more win, four gotcha. more matches to win the tournament. That pal there, um, oh, you, you can side if you don't get armor broken, you can sidestep yourself into a hope and a prayer here. Mm. There we go. Hello, Bazza. It's it's been pretty brutally one sided. Um, since since the first half to be honest like uh, what happened was um mongloom exposed his strength four edge four and is it or is it strength four movement what, is, what yeah strength four edge four he, he exposed this guy so to hit him pc you had to do a gfi with his runner which worked and then he hit him and he cast him so you know got very lucky pc with a hit but um that just made this half pointless <laughs> Have all the bat ups in the world that you want and the best bread team, but at the end of the day, they're still shit compared to dwarves. Yeah, pretty much. You know, 
That is pretty much it, yep. Yep. I mean, that's exactly it. PC was like, oh, this is such a good Brett team. And I'm like, yeah, it's still Brett's though, mate. <laughs> it's still Brett's. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still betting on PC with Dwarves, you know, even though he is an elf coach. By his own admission. Dwarves, that would be great. You think of... You think of PC, you think of elves. That's what everybody does. I mean, they could have been better, right? They were 1,800. If they were 2,000 uh, Bretts, then they would have had more of a chance, but still. It's like they were, they were good, but they weren't, they weren't the best Brett team I've ever seen, but they were good. They uh, are not always good. Yeah. Shouldn't always take them. But you know, had he played better, maybe he stops PC on defense, maybe he turns him over, and maybe he goes into this half 1-0 up. And then maybe. maybe he hangs on for the one nil win. So you know. Who I mean, he, 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 obviously, I mean, here he still thinks he's got a chance. He's going to try and push her over time. How does he do it though? Can he do it? I mean, he just has to blitz. He just has to blitz with a ball carrier here. He does. He's, he's got to throw somebody up the pitch though. That's the thing. I mean, he could but go he for has the passing pow. play. No, he can't. There's not one to pass to. He, ha he has to blitz him, pow, and then yeah. dodge through, and then dodge through with him. But he, he's got one more turn up this, yeah, so exactly. he could just so potato up the field and bomb it down. How does yeah. he potato up the field? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he's, yeah he, he's got a punch and then run it down, definitely. Yeah, yeah he has to do it. There's, there's only one, but he's not doing it. There was literally yeah. only one player to do, and he hasn't done it. I guess he's doing this. This is worse. I'm sure this is worse, by the way. But he's done it. He's going to run this guy down. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it it works. He's got the player down the pitch. It, it doesn't work because he's got one player. I guess now he does the 1D with him. Okay, yeah, so now he does the 1D with him. Yeah, okay, so now you do a 1D there. I mean, at the end of the day, you can always just lob it as well, can't he? Also, while well, Jim's been distracted, thank you for the uh, the raid, David Beckett, and also Muppet Pac-Man. Oh, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Always appreciate it. Yep. Correct. <laughs> now he just has to 4-4-3 four, four, it through. Because if he doesn't dodge through, he just gets bolted. Oh, dear. So he has to dodge through with the ball. That, that, that's why this play was the best, because this gets multiple players through. That was why yeah. this play was the best one. Instant How many body else to move through? <gasps> well, first Ooh. of all, he bolted the wrong player. Oh, why did he bolt him? And why? second of all, he rolled a one. That, um, that he literally was wasn't scoring. Literally, oh, and the bolt was a one, so moot point territory. But you literally bolt the scoring threat here. Game over. No, no, I guess, yeah. I guess, because if he doesn't break armor, right, he can get up and score still. Whereas if you bolt him and then you scoring take the threat. ball, he doesn't have a jump up, does he? No, but he can the, just go uh, three, four, threat. five, six, seven, eight. You so just I guess shut that him was down, it. Yeah. Don't you? Just shut I, him down. Yeah, I mean, I would. I. It's not as bad as I initially. I my initial reaction Honestly, was as bad as yours, Calcium. Uh, don't get me wrong. Should have just. Should have just bolted him and then just marked up the player. I still think, under any circumstance, not knowing that that role was going to be a failure, you always go for the scoring threat there. I yes. don't see a world where you bolt the uh, the carrier. Yes, I mean I I I, I agree, but maybe. Yeah, and you just foul. Yeah, exactly as Bazza says, just foul him. Yeah. 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 No, I'm. I'm sorry. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's correct to hate it. But not, you can see the I point though, done. can't you? Because if you get the ball, then like if you don't break AV, getting the ball, and then you know basing him with something. Yeah, maybe it's right. Maybe it was right to just ball him. And foul him. So yeah, so now you can't even you can't even blitz him, can you? Because he just sidesteps away from tackle zones. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. So there's a chance of so fair play to Mongloom sticking sticking it in, sticking it out. Yeah, and... we were talking about soft conceding and whatnot, and yeah. Mongloom was like, "No, nope, hold my pint." Yeah. And what does what does Mongloom do here? What's his optimal play? That's the thing. Ooh, good question. Uh... Can you, I forget, can you hand off and pass on the same turn? Yeah. With different players, yeah. Different players, but no they've got to be standing up to. to begin with. Yeah, yeah. he's got, he's no, got hand no hand off, handoffs. no re-rolls. Yeah. He, he's, he's in big trouble. Massive trouble. Um, I guess he just swings to the left and hope and hopes that the fucking dwarves don't catch it and he, he manages to get a long bomb. Like, he, what yeah, else can you do there? He, he, can, he can 1D blitz this guy. And then that, come that gives through. him some One, more two, movement allowed. One, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight. So he can come through here and do a shorter pass there and catch it in two tackle zones and have the intercept chance. Or he could just throw it at the end zone. 
don't know which is better. Which is better, trying to catch it in two tackle zones or trying to dodge out that scoring threat and then He's got catch, so the four plus, um, because he's agi, so the four plus with catch isn't horrible, is it? It's yeah, not horrible. It depends if he gets this. It depends. If he, so he gets the knockdown. So he gets the pow. One, He's got to make this dodge. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. So it'd be like, it's probably no GFIs. It's just a four. Yeah, plus no, pass. no GFIs. Four plus in it, Jim. Yeah. Four plus or a six. Four plus or a five plus. So it might be better to five plus. It might be better to five plus without an intercept chance, and then with a th two plus catch. So I'm, I'm not sure. Well, he's going I, I would, I would go for the intercept the myself. Yeah. No, I would have done this. I would have done it you this go. way. Yeah. I would have done it the other way, but let's see. Ah, unlucky. Yeah. Nice try. And let's see if we get the spolt, the spike bolt here. No, he's oh, so used, he's used bolt. his wizard, yeah, hasn't he? Yeah, ah, yeah. Sadness. <clears throat> yeah, GG's to PC. Um, I, I do think he made a mistake at the end there. He made that potentially more problematic than it could have been. But, you know, no one's perfect in the game of Blood Bowl. So, um,. Flagging and, towards the end of it anyway. It's a long ass game, especially with what yeah. three minute turns. Yeah. You know, it's almost as bad as Rebel, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, this has been a long game. Yeah, one hour thirty five. Oh Just, well, Mongloom yeah. is a Rebel regular, and he's gonna absolutely milk that timer. <laughs> <laughs> The problem is with animation, it ends up being closer to the four minutes anyway, honestly. Mm. It's, it's ludicrous, but hey, do some more punching damage, farm up those SPPs if he can. Yeah. Uh, you already have done Muppet, but you can ask two questions. <laughs> I, I genuinely hate the can I ask you a question question. <laughs> They never end well, do they? Can yeah. I ask you a question? Yeah, and no. can, I, can you do me a favour? And it's like, well, maybe. I mean, if the favour is, is you know, reasonable, then yes. Yeah. If the if the favour is unreasonable, then no. <laughs> yeah. you know, I always think when somebody says, "Can you do me a favour?" They're trying to goad you into giving it to them, regardless. You know, mm. that's the thing. Because mm. they know it's something you're not going to want to do. If they come in and say it straight out, you're never going to give it to them, are you? Mm, so I just say probably not. <laughs> It's my yeah. it's my response, <laughs> but yeah, go on Muppet, ask the question. Yeah, we're all dying to know what he's going to ask yeah, now. Come on, yeah. Muppet. Because there's fuck all happening in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't been for eight turns, but you know, no, it was a good good effort though by Mongol to give himself a chance. But it, well, it wasn't a great chance, but obviously, you know, he rolled the one on the ball. Which... I forget the blitzers don't get fucking tackled. So the guy he just blitzed with the blitzer there, he's leveled up. What do you reckon he's going to get on him? Uh, stand firm. Stand firm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he hasn't got enough stand firm as he needs. Ideally, needs three, doesn't he? But two yeah. stand firm is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I'm almost certain he'll go stand firm. Oh my god, Muppet. Keeping us I in know. suspenders. This is brutal. <laughs> Doug, he's killing us here. Seriously. <laughs> going to leave it. All, yeah, we, just for the all we care about right now is this question. That's <laughs> all we care about. <laughs> yeah. I just had or my oldest son. I just had my oldest son come in, and he said, "Oh, Dad," he said, "I've just watched the first season of Cobra Kai. I can't believe I've left it this long. It's effing amazing." <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, it's so good." Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Good. F first one especially. I, I rewatched yeah. like all the series after watching series five, and series one was so good. Like, it yeah, so good. it's 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 bigger returns each season now isn't it and it's starting to get a little bit slapstick and a little bit silly but yeah. it's still very good you know yeah. you've got to remember that you know it, the first season was something special wasn't it but hey we we you know we i've i've got product in the karate kid universe i'm i'm more than happy with it do you know what i mean mm -hmm. even though the start of season five i was a bit disappointed with the whole um miguel dad thing um, yeah. just didn't work for me i thought it was a waste of two episodes frankly yeah. you know but hey um other than that it's brilliant yeah. Anyway, sorry, Jim. No problem. Um, thank you very much, Calcium and Fault Force. Absolutely glorious of you to both come in and call cast. Somebody's uh, somebody stumbled into the booth here. Oh, Jim. is it is it the man himself? Uh, well, good evening, gentlemen. Um, I don't know what you made of that, but I, I, I'm not sure if you want to watch the VOD back. <laughs> <laughs> I made a bit of a meal of it all, didn't I? Well, well, you played that. You played that well. Before, yeah, I, I don't could... know. I still think. I mean, I'm. I'm pretty sure you can't have all agreed. Did I whiz the wrong 
Blitzer. Yes, yes. We, we, yes did all we, agree. Did. <laughs> we did all agree you were wrong, yes. <laughs> Look, two plus, dead. and I've got Fuck that yeah. ball. Yeah. What was your thought process? Look, on a two plus, it knocks him over. It doesn't matter if it breaks armor. Whereas the other one, yeah. you need to break the armor because he's AG4, so he can get out of whatever I could have put back there, he could have got out of. Yeah. And got himself in range to be receiving. Whereas if I get the ball carrier, then I had a two dice that only needed a pow or a push to get the runner free. And even if it won in nine or something, then the runner could blitz and pick the ball up after the blitz. And if the ball's on the runner, then he's got no hope at all. It's over. So I figured it was a two plus and then a one in nine to win. Whereas the other one, yeah. if it didn't break armor, he still had a reasonable chance of finding some way through the line. Although if I'd moved my I mean, uh, to, long beard to be one, fair, the left like I should have done, that would have been harder. It's, it's um, moot anyway because it rolled a one, you know. And it was still pretty decent, you know. However, I held him up. He was still pretty decent dice he needed to get there. So yeah, you know, it was still a what four plus throw, and then a four plus catch, but with of course catch because blitzers get all the skills. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, and then, a, longer, and then a two we... plus dodge off. So it was still, you know, without a reroll, still some dice. But yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it should have been better. Our first reaction was, of course, oh my god, what the fuck has he done? But then after thinking about it, you know, it was. Well, that it was, was my thinking. It was so easy to get the ball, the the runner through to the ball. Yeah. That if I can, I mean, literally, it was just needed one power on two dice, or then I could have blitzed through with the runner. That if the ball was on the ground, I felt I had it. Yeah. But yeah, oh, probably probably the you. the EV the time, play right? was the um, the gang fan. was the go for the big one at the at the front and then foul it to pieces afterwards if I knock it over. That was probably yeah. the EV play. But it's just that I'm not super foully. Yeah, it's always afterwards I think yeah I should have knocked that over and then fouled the bugger shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. And I always think of it if I've got Boomer or something, but not when I've got a bench and it's the end of the game anyway. And you know yeah. I hadn't had the attrition, so even if it went to overtime, I'd still have probably had eleven. So. But yeah, with all that attrition, I sort of felt it should have been easier. I should have taken the ball away in the second half, and it should have been two 0 But it, it wasn't. Yeah, I, Can I, I ask... think you, you didn't have to. So I thought you did the right thing of just shutting it down. Like what, once you took out the strength or edge four, which was that was yeah, that a ballsy was... play. But wasn't it the GFI? Yeah, to well, I, I, yeah. I, I thought if this fucks up, and it nearly did, didn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm going to look like a complete idiot. But on the other hand, he had me in a bit of a spot where I was going to have to throw some one dies because of the way he'd attack the chevrons, which was quite, which was very clever. It's, it's how you do it. You know, you attack the front of the outside of one, you tie up the inside chevron at that side against dwarves, and then the other side really struggles to get across and reinforce them. Mm. And either it meant he could have just pushed through and had all the space on the next turn, or much more likely he could have had a surf or two. So either you have to dodge out and accept that you probably lost the drive, or you have to get over there and sort it out, and it seemed yeah. the best way to me was that runner GFO. Yeah. And all it needed was a push, and then everything else worked out. And yet, yeah, I got really lucky that as it worked out, I got the hit on the strength four I really wanted, and it took it out. So, hurrah! Yeah. I want to ask. Um, I want to ask about the first half and how much oh, pressure Jesus you were feeling that. around yeah. turn yes. four, turn five before Mongloom. <laughs> now, by our, you know, in in commentary, we pretty much agreed that when Mongloom decided to run half his team around the back of your dwarves to try yeah. and face your ball carrier. That was carrier. lovely to see, wasn't it? Yeah. You, you must have felt such relief at that point. Yes. Because were you, were you under a lot of pressure beforehand? I mean, I don't throw a runner out into the backfield without any protection with his AVA ass <laughs> if I'm not under pressure. Do it, I? it felt yeah. like he corralled I'd you I drive forward with numbers right and wing. control the field. So the fact that I felt I had to throw out a distraction or a possible you know Hail Mary option shows that, yes, I felt I was under pressure. Yeah, yeah, all he had to do was consolidate there, wasn't it? Just hold yeah. position, yeah. deal yeah. with that runner, you know, um, and he had you by the balls. And I'm, I mean, I'm I've not... said it many, many times. I mean, not only do I, the reason this team doesn't have a Slayer is because I kept hanging my quite good in the end Slayer out, <laughs> and eventually he died, and I just didn't have time to replace it. That's exactly what I, I predicted, PC. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, I mean, normally I do run with one Slayer, um, but it turns out a second run is just as good a distraction. Mm hmm. Yeah. And by the time I had it, I then didn't have the money and, you know, bringing a rookie slayer in at this point, literally just before I parked it, just didn't seem sensible. So I bought a rookie beard to make up the numbers for last game. Cause, you know, I, I think we should one. be um, a, a quite complimentary towards uh, Mongloom. I thought Mongloom played as... great. Yeah, yeah, well, that brain fart around turn four, turn five. After it's that... so hard. I tried. Yeah. Oh, also, turn eight. Um, so when he decided to try and create the chain to chain the other dwarf out of the way 
I really we, liked that. I thought well, that the con- yeah, the consensus here was it was probably the wrong thing to do. We would have gone for oh, okay. three plus two plus two plus, because all he needed was a pushback there on oh, that. See, on like, that, like all us jaded old men. I mean, it's why Davo serves, and it? it's why K-Fol's playing slam. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's why people do it up the bum. The more we discussed it, the less we better, hated it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we Different didn't, sam- we didn't samber it. it. We didn't samber it because we're not knobheads. Right. Um, and, you know, um, but the more we discussed it, the less we hated it. And it's, it's crazy. It, it was unlucky Different. winning. Yeah, and it, I mean, it meant there wasn't. I don't know. I mean, I thought the dodge through in the end because he, because of the way he did it, he managed to leverage the tackle out of the way. Yeah, a massive um, respect so for the it second was not half. Tackle. Yeah, massive respect for the second half because, to be fair, you you had the line share of the second half right up to around turn thirteen, turn fourteen. You yeah. were hit, you were removing players. You know, you you had absolute control of the pitch. Um, we were talking soft concede. Why is why don't aren't, why aren't people allowed to concede in CCL Chalice? Well, because blah, 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 he's got blah. a ball carrier that's incredibly fast, and he always had yeah. that receiver that was both fast and agile. Yeah. And whilst he keeps those two pieces alive, there's always a hope. Yeah, and so if you, you notice, there were times that I had to give up the dominant position to drop back enough that if he suddenly potatoed that plus agility, I had an answer to it. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Called that out once, but most of the time we were talking about uh, you know just random bollocks because the the second half was almost <laughs> over right after that. After yeah, that yeah. But I mean, what, what it became is not a, not a game about what's going on this turn, but it's a game about projected power, isn't it? Because you feel on top, so you're just trying to not lose that position. Yes, so like, it's like what, where what is, else where does he they have, and then how do you yeah, shut them down? Exactly, then? yeah. So it's not what yeah. are we doing this turn, it's what might he do next turn, and you can start thinking like that. Yeah. But it did mean you took your eye slightly off the bash game, which allowed him you know, to get back in a position, and you're never going to dominate the eight turns unless you keep the removals up at one a turn, and you need Glorpom to do that, mm-hmm. or mass fouling. I got excited because I actually, um, towards the end there, uh, there was an opportunity to call your play shit. And uh-huh. obviously, that's a very rare thing when it comes to Well, because to I you. whizzed the wrong... No, yeah. and, and Jim Jim actually pointed out that it wasn't shit, so I had to eat my words. So I'm okay. still looking for the day when I can actually say, PC played shit there. Um, it's been a number of years, and I still haven't found that opportunity yet. <laughs> well, look, I, I don't always take the choices I would recommend other players take. Um, but for a variety of reasons. But... There's also times you've got to, you know, shit or get off the bog. You, sorry, he's a foul language, but you know what I mean. You've got to, yeah, you've got to screw yeah. your courage to the sticking post and see if it fails. It's sometimes you've got to go for the slightly bigger play with the slightly better outcome, mm. which the odds might not say is, you know, statistically likely to work, but just little other bits around it, and you think it will dispirit them. Like like hitting the strength four when he came pushing down that flank. It's obvious he's pushed down that flank before. It was a practice move. It did it really well. And I went, well, hang on, if I did one go for it, I could unpick it and really put him under some pressure. And it paid off beautifully. Mm. But it was a risk. There were safer ways to play that turn. Yep. Well, there you it go. Paid off. It paid off at the end of the day. We were, it did. We were I thought it was a good it. game of Blood Bowl. Um, the first half, yeah, was I under pressure? Yes, I really was. Um, and even the push forwards, I thought there was no way I'm stalling this out. First half was really good Blood Bowl. I don't, I don't like the path he took when you were stalling it out at the end. I think he should have. Uh, first off, I didn't like the fact that he pushed around the right side. I would have taken him from the left. But the fact it, that he didn't push you into the uh, the end zone there to try and get the two oh, turn. Luckily though, right. the uh, no, l- luckily the cool. kickoff event. That's you know, he got it anyway. But I mean, I was really yeah. lucky. The blodge runner, so you can take slightly bigger risks with it. If the big threat coming, it doesn't have tackle, and the big threat coming didn't have tackle. So you yeah. can, with two day he manufactured, it's still only thirty percent to to knock me over. He could, have pushed, he could have pushed it in, that's the thing, right? And he could yeah, have guaranteed the two turn. Yeah, he could have done, um, which I think is probably the right answer at that point. That's what I thought he was going for, was to push me in. Yeah, but, but, either go for the push in or go for the surf. And The regret you've triggered in me now, because I, I let it go, because you know that's what I tell people, let it go. <laughs> um, the bad decision, I think, was in that turn, because he had to use the reroll really early. My plan originally was to dodge the runner off to secure that stall. Mm. by standing directly yeah. behind the runner, which made the dodge in much harder. It made the dodge along the sideline for the angle he took much harder. Um, but because I'd used the re-roll, I didn't risk the three plus. I thought I could just hold that wrestle piece and it was doing some good there. Yeah. But of course, yeah. it being a wrestle piece, he doesn't fear the two plus and he went straight for that. Yeah. And I think I should have done the three plus. I don't think giving him that wrestle free was, you know, like freeing that wrestler up was, was really a problem. Yeah, correct. I yeah, think, I, I thought, yeah, I I thought, thought you... I think the three plus to put the runner in yeah. by the ball was was better so that's the one that if i if i have a big regret from the game it's that 
the whizzing the wrong piece i don't know i the minute I did it, I went, oh, well, I whizzed the wrong one, so no wonder it failed. <laughs> but yeah, I, I was weighing it up. No longer matters. I mean, if you notice, it doesn't I'm, matter, I'm usually though. pretty quick into the turn, unless it's a developing turn. But that turn, I was really weighing up which of these, not am I whizzing, obviously, but which of these two gets the whiz now. Hmm. But it should have, yeah, in retrospect, that's probably the other mistake. It should have been the, the breakthrough piece and then follow it up with a foul. If Maybe it break up. it's not so easy. It's not so easy. Like that was the thing, you know. At first we were all like, "What?" And then I was like, oh, "Actually, it's 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 not it's not you know it's not as one side as you think." Anyway, we've got to wrap up the YouTube video at some point. Sorry, so... sorry. I did... Oh, I thought you already had. Sorry. No, no, no problem. Right. So, yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Fault Force and Calcium for doing the commentary, and thank you, Purple Chess, for coming on. And Pleasure. afterwards, and obviously, congratulations to PC, commiserations to Mongloom. Thank you for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.